If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 most overpowered players in Madden 20 right now. Now, guys, I did not record a video yesterday. It's yesterday. That's some personal things to handle. As well as it being a Sunday with no content. It just kind of was the perfect storm to take my first day off and probably forever. But we did miss yesterday. Felt really weird, honestly, not gonna lie. I almost felt guilty. It was kind of, it was a weird feeling. But we're back today with another video, guys. Still no content as per usual, but there still should be two more promos for the rest of the year. We're like, actually three, technically. So we're waiting for those. But as we wait for those, guys, go over the top 10 most overpowered players in Madden right now. Before we get into today's video, guys, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, you boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know, guys, who's in your top 10 list, as well as as I'm going over this list, who would you like to add so let's head on over to the auction house and start this up but actually number 10 i can't even find on the auction house so let's start in the binder for that one at least that'd make the most sense for this one specifically guys this is going to be probably one of the cheapest ones on this whole list and it's coming in, in the top 10 so guys definitely give this one a i definitely recommend this one guys like for real michael irvin power up expansion is one of the best cards in madden right now and he's super cheap all it costs is training and training is at an all-time low price wise 99 overall power expansion power expansion michael irvin is actually a beast guys we compared him to randy moss now when you compare them they're very similar cards and michael irvin actually is a pretty good run blocker and really good after the catch now with sprint and everything he wound up with 99 speed close to 99 excel he wound up really good catching really good carrying for a wide receiver 99 jumping great stiff arm good juke move good spin move and his catching all, almost ends up all the way at 99s. His route runnings almost end up at 99s, except for his medium, and his B press ends up close to 99. His card overall is damn near a 99 everything wide receiver once he has the right cams and abilities and everything else on him. But he's just going to be so cheap. He's such a value, especially if he's only, if he, even if you make him like your slot receiver or something. He's just overall such a value. So that's why I always have... I, I, gotta, I just got to have this Michael Irvin on this list. He just seems like too good of a value to uh, pass up on, especially at that price point. I mean, I would just pick him up just because even as a fourth, third, and if, guys, if you're a Cowboys theme team, uh, Michael Irvin's probably the best wide receiver in Madden theme team was. Like, he's going to be up there. Now, setting over to the second guy on this list, which, guys, this guy right here slightly outbeats Ma Irvin just because, obviously, he's viable. He's on the block. You can sell and get rid of him as you please. Now, this guy right here, Randy Moss, 99 over Ultimate Legends, going to be on this list at number nine. As a wide receiver, now, 98 speed, 99 jumping, 98 catching, 95 catch traffic. 99 spec catch, 93 short route running, 92 medium route running, and 99 deep route running. Now, the only reason he is above Ma, uh, above Michael Irvin is going to probably be because of height, Moss 100, and the fact you can actually power up his 99, which then makes him even slightly better than a 99, technically. And he already comes pre-built with the 99 speed powered up, and a little bit of other stuff that you're not going to need that much to get him all the way up there, while with Irvin, you will need a little bit more stuff. But at the end of the day, guys, Irvin's a better route runner similar catcher similar similar athletically the only difference is going to be really that height and then Irvin's run block kind of comes down to what you do more of this moss is phenomenal it does get moss 100 ability which pretty much means you have like a guaranteed 55 yard catch to start the game it's pretty glitchy i really like this moss i don't have him yet just because the way this year really works when you play online i mean moss is great and all but calvin's very similar for me and you know it's around heavy meta so Kind of this year has been, and I don't have coins right now. I've been spending them all in packs. I've been kind of waiting to get my influx of coins from uh, selling my binder so that I can go ahead and pick up a shopping spree at some point. But coming in at number eight on this list, this is a guy who's been around for quite a while. And guys, he's just phenomenal. Literally, it's just amazing. This Night Train Lane right here, 98 overall. Powered him up. Guys, once you have this guy powered up, I have him right here on the right. 95 speed, 95 excel, 96 agility, 97 jumping, 95 play rec, 94 man, 98 zone, 95 press. Don't look at his stats as much, guys, as much as you guys have to realize everything. Because all around, when he's kept up and everything with John Madden, he gets to 98 speed. His man, his zone will be 99. His man will come out to like a 97. Play rec will be like a 98. And his press will be like a 98. He's damn near 99 all across the board there. But what you guys need to understand is that he can juke. He can actually do things with the ball once he has a pick. He's super athletic. He's pretty tall. And he has a 95 hit power. Guys, 95 hit power on a cornerback. Not many like him. That's why I love having this guy. But let's go on to the next one. Many good corners in this game this year. Like right now, especially, there's so many good corners. But the thing is, it all comes down to the intangibles, things about, you know, about even the things behind the card that you don't technically compare. They're all going to have 99 almost everything on the front. But the difference in a guy like 
Um, Night Train Lane and a guy like Ramsey. It's going to be that hit power. Like, Ramsey's got a good hit power, though, which is why he's going to be one of my other guys on here. But, in my opinion, guys, Night Train Lane is one of the best cornerbacks this year. Especially in this run-heavy meta. It just makes sense. Next on my list, actually coming in number 7, is Jalen Ramsey. He's a cheap enough price right here, too. 97 speed, 97 excel. Start off this card. Now, if you compare him to Night Train Lane, like I said, he's going to be very similar. He got 99 jumping, 98 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. He's a golden ticket. So, on the front of the card, he is better. Now, they're the same height. Now, when you go to the back card, though, this is the stuff that you end up missing out on. So, catching. Night Train Lane is slightly better. Not the biggest of deals, but slightly better. You go to, let's see, let's see, elusiveness. 93 for Night Train Lane. 90 ball carrier vision. 55 step form doesn't matter. 88 spin move versus 59. 90 juke moves versus 68. And you guys know how important that is when you get a pick. And you the, that's the difference between being able to score on defense and help out your offense versus just, like, you know those games when you, you offensively can't do anything? You just suck that game. Well, Night Train Lane and Deion Sanders are those kind of guys that break the game open for you with big pick for turns. Spec catch 80 versus 70, which that's actually really important. And 76 catch traffic. Hit power 96 versus 84. So remember, Jalen Ramsey just slightly beats him out because he's way better on the front of the card. But if you compare the back of the card, he almost just catches up there. And he's a golden ticket, so I gotta have him a little bit higher there anyways. But coming to number six on the list, we have another wide receiver. At number six on the list is gonna be Julio Jones, 99 overall golden ticket wide receiver. Now he's the best wide receiver in Madden. And just, well, because he's a golden ticket, you know, they're going to get the glitchy stats. Compare him to, like, a guy like Calvin. Now, 97 speed, 99 jumping, 99, 96 catching, 98 catching traffic, 98 spec catch, 99 short route running, 99 medium route running, and 96 deep route running. Now, you compare these real quick. So, chemmed up and everything, who's going to have 99 everything? Literally going to have 99 everything on his card. Everything. Calvin, on the other hand, who still is great, will not. So, if you think Calvin was great... Julio's even better. Now, the better thing about Julio that other wide receivers don't have is he will get a 99 agility. You put human joystick on, you can put a bunch of good you can put a bunch of good abilities on this guy, which a lot of wide receivers typically don't get. This card overall is the best wide receiver in Madden. He's just like the ultimate hybrid. He's tall, he's fast, he can catch, and he gets really, really good abilities. He can run, play with the ball. I really do love this Julio card. At some point when he comes out in price, I plan to probably pick him up. I'm just waiting for all these golden tickets to like completely just drop and I can have a whole team of them. But until that day comes. We're just chilling for now. Next on the list, coming at number five is Calvin Johnson Jr. Free safety for the Detroit Lions. This is an out of position card, of course. 97 speed, 96 excel, 96 tackle, 97 play rack, 94 pursuit, 85 man coverage, 98 zone coverage, and 96 hit power. Personally, I do love my Sean Taylor. I really do like a Sean Taylor like this. Like, I think this card's endgame on the right. Now, I'm just waiting for his next card. That's what I've been waiting for to power up him all the way. But he hasn't gotten one quite a while. But obviously, Calvin's faster. He's taller. He's a better catcher. He can play better zone. And this Calvin actually has hit power. So, because they gave this Calvin hit power, he's kind of one of the glitchiest free safeties in Madden. You gotta be rocking with Calvin right now if you have the coins for it. Next on the list, one of my favorite players every year in Madden, and that is Routes a linebacker for the New York Giants, and that is going to be Lawrence Taylor, 256k. Honestly, just a steal right here. Of course, that one, but I'm gonna go down here so it doesn't happen again. Compared to my powered up 99 Lawrence Taylor. Guys, you don't get that, you don't get the 99 finesse, a 99 power, almost 99 block shot after you kept him kept him powered up, and a 93 speed combo not to mention on my team is a 96 speed that is just so fast so crazy he is literally the glitchiest pass rusher every single year i love having lawrence taylor on my team he's so much fun he's fun to have he's dominant he's overpowering guys if you don't have lawrence taylor yet you're missing out always plays he always just plays glitchy even on top of his stats and his stats certainly do look good coming in at number three is going to be a halfback here which like i said once his price comes down again i don't plan to spend millions on cards just yet i'm waiting for them to all come down to a reasonable price Bo Jackson, 1.1 mil. Cards glitch. Everything's 99. Literally everything's almost 99. And then once you power up and chem him up, or just sorry, not power up. Once you chem him up, he will have 99 everything. This card's phenomenal. In my opinion, if you want a budget version of him, it's Saquon Barkley. But the thing is with uh, Bo Jackson, he does get human joystick and he does have a bit more strength as well as get some glitchier abilities. So he does get power back abilities as well as human joystick as well as all the other stuff so i recommend you probably go with bo jackson if you are able to afford him and now number two and number one are going to be 1a and 1b in my opinion although i have a preference here which is why i'm gonna put them at 1a i believe that the two golden ticket quarterbacks are going to be the best two cards in madden now we got lamar jackson we got vic as my top two now personally i'm putting vic as 1b i think vic is great but i do think lamar jackson's better now when you compare the two so vic has pretty much maxed out everything right you look at this card right here the only thing he's missing out is on his medium and deep he has 95 95 and his throwing pressure is 90, uh, 93 
with the right cams you can get all of his passing close up to like 97 98 except for his throwing pressure that will always be bad and his 96 speed so pretty great right there pretty much a maxed out quarterback now when you compare lamar lamar right here has better passing or like literally has better throw mid has better throw deep has better throw under pressure and this card actually gets to 99 almost everything my okay let me, let me rephrase that michael vick gets click 97 98 passing lamar starts with 97 98 passing so lamar actually will be a 99 max out card everywhere including speed including throw power i went over this he will be having one stat 98 depending on which route you go here so in my opinion i think lamar jackson is the best player in this game plus he's a little bit faster which under being about the same thing he gets human joystick he gets gunslinger he gets skateboard he gets everything you could ever want in a quarterback guys lamar is the ultimate weapon i believe right now use your free golden ticket on him that's my personal uh best recommendation but guys about it that is the top 10 most overpowered players in madden 20 right now hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up guys and if you want to pick up any of these cards for their current price points hit up my sponsor moexp use code poodle five percent off guys cheapest coins on the internet i promise you you can pick up a lot of these cards for a lot cheaper than actually trying to pull them from packs do not waste your time with packs it's a waste of time, especially at this point in the year. Pick up coins. Always the best time of the year to do it, especially because they're so cheap. You can really just ball out with the God Squad, but I'm out, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.